Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies and thanks for joining me again. If you like our content, please make sure you press a like on the button below because it really helps us out. So here we go. Now today I've got this really unusual kit that I'm going to be having a look at. It's not really, I guess, a full kit. It's a accessory set. This is by Bronco and this is actually the infrared uh, viewing device and machine gun set which was found on some of the late prototype tanks. Sometimes seen on Panthers, you'll see a lot of photos of them on very late Panthers. And there's also uh, some of these other single vehicles that were done with the infrared technology. It was very young back then, so the infrared, as you can see there, that's the infrared scope. They were quite big, they weren't that powerful. Still using infrared these days in warfare and also in other uh, things as well. It's quite interesting, I think. I always like the, the odd things. There's particularly a late war material that I enjoy uh, because there was so much variety. So let's have a close look and we'll see what's involved. Okay, so from the overhead camera you'll see this is the front, uh, the box art. So German infrared night vision devices, so known as infrared Schenwerfer, I guess. I don't really know what the German means there, but obviously it's the infrared, rot is red. And then we've got this scope. So you've got it, there's actually a couple of configurations. They don't show both configurations here. There's only the one with the machine gun mount incorporated. And then there's also the two machine guns here. You've got the um, MG34 and the MG42 included. Now when we flip it over to the back, so this is very familiar with some of the, uh, say, smaller kits, figure kits and such. The instructions are actually on the back and not on an included instruction manual. This side here shows you how to build the basic scope. Then we've got the alternatives here, which is the MG34 or 42. This section here shows you how to make the actual scope and machine gun module. And over here is just the uh, scope module by itself. Now they've pictured here with a cupola from a Panther. So you have an idea of how the mount worked. So you've got a mount which is from the bottom of the, uh, the cupola. And then there's also this mount which is on the actual machine gun ring. So you've got quite a few options here. It doesn't look like a very complicated kit, but you'll see as I get into it, because this is the legend of the parts that's included and it's actually quite comprehensive. So let's have a close look. All right, so as we open it up, we'll see that, actually, get that all out nice and cleanly. What have we got? There's another one in here. Okay, so we've got multiple bags of bits. Okay, so there's three bags in total. We've got some clear parts, we've got the scopes, and then we've got some machine gun parts. So as you can imagine, they've gotten a few kits uh, from various places and they put them together to make this accessory set. So I'll look at each one sort of individually. All right, let's go for the, this is the actual scope part. And we'll see what they give you here. What have we got here? Oh, actually, these are taped on. So I'll zoom in so we have a closer look. This has actually got two parts because there's two included. Let me just zoom in on this. We'll get it all focused up. Okay, so we've got two sprue. All right, so we've got one there. And as I'm going across, these are all the different components which are used for making up the lighting system. So there's the infrared spotlights. Various boxes. Oh, I'm not too sure what the boxes are. So that's got a little lightning on it. So that must be the power battery. And as you can see, just for a little simple thing like this, there's the mount that goes on the bottom of the cupola. There's the machine gun mount. How many components there are just for this really simple item. Okay, but if you're trying to make a prototype or a very late war uh, unique machine, then this will just add so much more character. You can see how fine all those bits are? And if I spin it around, you can see how clean all the details are. There's no flash. So Bronco does a very, very good job with all their moldings as well. Okay, so they're all the bits for... They're mainly for the mount, I think. I can't actually see much for the scope. This part here looks a bit scopey. Okay, but now as you can imagine too, they're not going to be that, that huge, okay? So you've got two sets just like this. So move those aside. Now I'll see if I can get closer to this stuff here. Okay, so you've got photo etch. Really tiny photo etch here. Now you've got straps here, which are the, uh, the handles, and you've got various fittings. And then these things across here, I find quite amazing. These are actually 35th scale wing nuts. Tiny as tiny. So quite often you find these details 
I'll try to mold it into the piece because they'll be quite fragile. But by adding these on, you're going to add so much more depth. Okay, so you basically just cut a couple of those off and they're added. And you can see there's a whole bunch of them there. So you can use those in your spares box or use them for a different project. So you would never expect to get really fine, super, uh, super fine photo which like that included in something like this. Okay, so from there, we move on to the next bag, which is machine guns. Let me just clear this off so it's, it's not all cluttered. All right, I've got the machine guns in here. All right, so what we've got, as I spread it out, we've got, there's actually more machine guns here than I imagined because there's two sets of infrared. If I flip these over so I can recognize them, we've got two MG42s over here and we've got two MG34s over here. So I think Bronco have actually done themselves a disservice by not mentioning how many of each of them they've got because when they say there's two sets, you think there's only two sets of infrared and two machine guns, but actually you get two types of each machine gun as well. So four machine guns in total. You won't be using them all on this particular set here, only you'll be using two, and then you have plenty for spares, and spares are always great. All right, so let's zoom in and we'll have a closer look at each one of these at their finer details. All right, so let's have a look here. Let me just get that focused in. Make it a bit easier to see. Okay, so let me move these out of the way. All right, here we've got the MG34. And you can recognize that by the machine barrel here. So you see how it's a, quite a slim line. These were heavily machined out of billet. Very good machine guns. What they found was uh, they couldn't actually make enough of them because you need a lot of skilled labor. It took a lot of time. And so that's where the MG42 came about. So I'll show you that one in a moment. You'll be able to recognize that. A lot of these components here, the, uh, uh, the shoulder rest, the grips, they're all very much the same. Okay, so here we've got the uh, the top part which seals in the uh, the ammo belt. I've got the ammo belt there as well. So it's molded really thin, super crisp. So all you have to do is just trim it off at these three points. A little bit of sanding paper, they'll be totally flat. And you can also bend that. And then we've got this section here. Can't actually tell what that is. Is that the That's a mounting point for the base of this. Actually, not that one, this one here. And then we've got the uh, the snail uh, magazines there. So that's an option as well. So you won't be using some of these components for this particular uh, configuration, but because you've got four guns, you can have spares and you can use these on a different diorama or in a different spot. So you've got your folded bipod and your extended bipod there as well. Then over here, we've got an ammo box, which is in two halves. Okay, so let's move on to the MG42. Okay, so the MG42 is pretty similar in the way the sprue's been put together, except the gun itself is quite different. Okay, so you've got a larger barrel surround, and it's bigger and it's a different shape, it's more square. That's because they're using um, stamped metal to ease the production process of the machine gun. Okay, so this point here, which um, uh, seals the ammunition is different as well and then as we get into this part here this is all going to be pretty much identical because between the two guns MG34 and the 42 these are all the same so you get your ammo belt you got that little feeding tongue and then you've got some snail magazines so three of those folded bipod and extended bipod and then again you've got an ammo box okay so we've got our guns there, and then the final piece are the clear parts. So I've got the clear parts here. Let me just pull them out of the bag. Let's extend the zoom. All right, so we've got two sheets because we've got two scopes. Now these are generic parts, which are probably used for a different set because there are the larger lenses as well, which are on the, the very large vehicle mounted um, infrared um, search lights, but because this is the actual uh, cupola mounted, they have the small lenses, so you'll be using these parts here. All right, so let's zoom that in again, and we'll get a closer look at these details. All right, so here's the larger lenses which you won't be using. You may be using one of those, I'm not so sure. I haven't checked the number there, but these large ones you won't be using at all, but they'll be useful for spares anyway. You can see how crystal clear they are, nice and thin, no distortion. 
okay and then you've got the smaller ones that will be used for the actual infrared torch then also the ends of the scope as well so that will incorporate there so those two pieces okay so that's pretty much it so they're all the components that come with this particular interesting kit so that's the uh, infrared uh, lamp with machine guns that'll suit uh, any late war uh, World War II I should say German uh, vehicle so often seen these on uh, prototypes of Panthers some later um, tanks as well you could put that on anything anything to your imagination and then also there's spare machine guns as well so there you go great little set and quite amazing the number of parts that are included to make it really interesting <laughs>